Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Chris, and this is Annabelle. We had always talked about adopting, and that was always something we had thought we had considered maybe, um, which was interesting because when we decided to start our family, um, we didn't. Uh, we weren't. A we found out we weren't able to have our own children, and so um, adoption. We, we discovered that uh, adoption was part of God's plan for our lives all along. So we applied with the Baptist Children's Home here in Illinois, and we put in our application, and we learned that we had just missed the training for that spring, which was okay. We would have to wait until the fall. Then we learned that they had had so few adoption placements the year before that they wouldn't even be offering that training and we wouldn't even be able to start the process until the following year. So we were just really um, heartbroken and confused because we didn't know where we had missed the message about what God wanted from us. Yeah, so we've prayed about it a lot and um, we have a great small group here at First Baptist Church <laughs> that we lead and, and uh, they were praying with us through our whole journey and just encouraging us. and. And one of our friends even encouraged us that God already had our child picked out for us and a, and a name for that child. <laughs> a name for that for our child. And so we were encouraged by that. So we, we prayed about it and decided that we would wait. And then about a month later, we received a letter from Baptist Children's Home saying that they'd had an increase in adoption. And now they were gonna offer training in uh, July, which was just a month away. So at, we were, at that point, we were even thinking, gosh, this is faster than we expected. Are we even ready? So we went through the training. We did this mountain of paperwork. We got all of our CPR training and medical tests and everything done that you have to get licensed to adopt through the um, state of Illinois. And we had our visits with our social worker. We ha she came for her last visit last February and she said, I'll submit everything. It'll probably be six to eight weeks. Then we knew that we would be waiting probably just you know several months or maybe even a couple of years for a child to be placed with us. Um, so we were just ready to wait. We put together our book for them to show to expectant moms and um, just kind of sat back to wait and knew that God would be working, but we didn't know in what way. And um, come to find out, two weeks later, we heard from the agency that they had received our book. And on a Monday, on Thursday of the same week, we got our license from the state in the mail after only two weeks. And then Friday, the next day, um, after we got our license, we got a call from our social worker and she said, there's an expectant mom that wants to meet you. And um, she looked at your book this morning and you have to come and meet her tomorrow because she's due to give birth any day. And so <laughs> then we said, whoa, okay. <laughs> and we both drove home and um, to pray about it and decide what we were gonna say. We knew what we wanted our answer to be, but we wanted to pray and make sure that it was, yeah, leave it up to God as well. Yep, so the next morning we drove out to Mount Vernon and we with the social worker at Angel's Cove and we met the expectant mother and we were afraid it was going to be awkward and we were nervous to meet her but it actually went really well and um, she had actually asked us if we uh, she put us at ease immediately and, and she asked us if we had thought about names and so we had some names we were thinking about and our first choice uh, we told her was Annabelle and she smiled and said I've already been calling her Annabelle and she said that was my great grandma's name and we got the chills and I said that was my great grandma's name too and that's why we picked out the name. And so then she said I would really like to choose the middle name, it would mean a lot to me. But I said well what did you have in mind and she chose the name Renee, not knowing that that's Megan's middle name. And so at that point we just, we just laughed and said okay God you're just showing off at this point. And so uh, we knew right then that, that had, her name was meant to be Annabelle Renee. And the mom, the time that we got to spend with her was so great. She said, I'm just not in a place where I can raise a child. And so I've spent my entire pregnancy looking for her parents. And she asked me to come to her last doctor's appointment. Uh, I got to hear her heartbeat and see the final ultrasound. And um, the it was just so special. It was something I didn't think was ever gonna happen. By the time the 10 days came later and we went to uh, the hospital for Annabelle to be born and we got to be in the labor and delivery room with her birth mom for the whole day. She asked us to be there and we got to spend time with her and play with her and <laughs> we got to be there when this little one um, came into the world. Yeah, so the first 
two days we were in the hospital with her. We had our own room and the birth mom had a room down the hall and Annabelle stayed with us, but we allowed the birth mom to come into the room uh, and visit and spend time with us and hold Annabelle uh, as much as she wanted. And there was some risk involved in that because, you know, if she got a, you know, there's a fear that if the birth mom gets attached to her that she may change her mind on the adoption. But she got to spend a lot of time with us and we prayed together and uh, laughed and cried and hugged for a couple days and uh, just really spent a lot of time together. And, and when we left the hospital, she hugged us and told us that she was so grateful that we allowed her to spend <clears throat> so much time with Annabelle and she felt so much better about her decision as a result. And so that was really special to us. So we have an open adoption. We are in touch with her birth mom and she's gonna get to know her as she grows up. And we've already started telling her about what an amazing birth mom she has and how she chose life. She chose to give Annabelle a future and she chose to, um, adoption placement as a way for her to um, have a family that's gonna raise her in a way that's gonna be good for her. And um, so we just love to tell this story because of how exciting it, of course how exciting it is, but also just how everything fell into place in a way that makes us really see that it was God's plan all along. And um, we hope to encourage people that are maybe going through something um, that they don't quite understand how it's all gonna turn out in the end. And just to encourage you to lift it up in prayer and to trust in God and know that He has a plan and it's for his glory and sometimes he has a sense of humor along the way. Yep. So we had asked God to, to open doors for us and instead he opened the floodgates and I think that's the um, beautiful thing about God and the amazing thing is that sometimes that you think that you see things from such a small you know perspective as human beings that he has a much bigger plan for us and he's willing to make things happen a whole lot faster than we're even ready for sometimes.